This may sound like clickbait, but it's absolutely not. A hybrid Toyota that only has around 30 miles of electric range actually drove non-stop using electric only power for 1,200 miles. It broke the record for the longest electric car drive, which is insane. Doesn't make sense, but it is actually true. And the reason it was able to do this, well, I'm going to share it with you, but the reason I think is a compelling reason for why we should be adopting this technology immediately. I've made videos on it before. People have said, no, this sucks. It doesn't work. I think it does. This is why. This is why it's actually a game changer. It absolutely is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. As you can see, I'm kind of excited about this technology because it does work. People have been saying it doesn't, it won't work, it won't work, it won't work. I promise you, it will. And we don't need it everywhere. Here's the key evidence. I've been saying this in my previous videos. We don't need to put this technology everywhere in order to make it basically apartment owners be able to drive as far as they need to. That's the key here. A lot of people cannot charge using a home charger. This, in my opinion, is the best solution to that issue. Electric cars have one major drawback. That is that, I mean, home charging is brilliant, but if you can't charge at home, that's a challenge. Some cars as well are not great for road trips. Fast charging is slow or they're charging wherever they are. The charging network may not be very good, could be busy. All of that will change within the next few years. But for some people, for some owners, that is the case right now. However, this week at Toyota RAV4 Prime got more than 1,200 miles in electric mode only without stopping to recharge even once. This is true. It really did. This wasn't due to the vehicle itself, but it was due to the road it was driving on. The record was set on the company's 200 meter demo track, which features the wireless charger is installed under the asphalt in only 25% of the road. So it's got a 200 meter track. It installed only 50 meters of wireless charging and it was able to just continuously drive for 1,200 miles. Now it could have driven forever, that's the truth. Having only 25% of this road, having a wireless charger in it, which is like first generation technology, imagine 10th generation, be way better than this. You'd probably only need probably 10% of the road to be electric. So 25% of the road had wireless charging underneath it and this inefficient RAV4 Prime with a very small battery was capable of driving nonstop forever. Just keep on, I mean, this is, remember when Toyota marketed the RAV4 Prime and they said that it was this miracle technology and you could basically drive forever as electric power because it was like self-charging. Remember they called it self-charging? Well, most governments around the world where they had that advertisement campaign forced them to take it down. But if they actually were able to use a road like this, then it would have been true. The company that has this wireless technology says the platform provides endless range for any EV and it supports multiple users from small cars to large trucks. The ride took 56 drivers though, one of whom was Israeli racing car driver Bar Baruch. The result set a world record for the longest time and distance ever driven by a passenger electric vehicle. It's kind of wacky and ironic that it was in a Toyota plug-in hybrid. The Toyota RAV4 Prime is a plug-in hybrid model. It's not a full EV, but the gasoline engine never actually kicked in during the 1,200 mile drive. It was all recorded on video. It's actually in the Guinness Book of Records right now. And incredibly, the battery was still almost full by the time the drive was over or by the time everyone got sick of it and went home. According to the US Department of Energy, the average all electric vehicle gets between 200 and 400 miles of range on a single charge. And plug-in hybrid vehicles typically only do around 50 to 50 miles on battery power alone before the engine kicks in. But a lot of users don't even use the EV, the battery at all, unfortunately. They buy it, think it's a great idea, and then they get lazy and they don't plug it in, which I find really strange because you can just run an electric electric extension cord out of your house and that would give you enough power to charge a plug-in hybrid small battery pretty quickly. Anyhow, the RAV4 Prime has an EPA estimated electric only range of 42 miles, according to Toyota. This milestone proves 
that Electrion's wireless charging technology, Electrion is the name of the company that builds the wireless chargers underneath the road, effectively addresses two key challenges in the EV transition, range anxiety and battery size, the company said. It eliminates range anxiety, enabling an endless drive and demonstrates that even a compact 18 kilowatt hour battery size is no longer a limiting factor in EV adoption. I actually think this is a really interesting point here because imagine if this RAV4 Prime was an efficient car. It's completely inefficient as an EV. It's carrying around a gasoline drivetrain and it's a Toyota EV anyway. It's inefficient regardless. Even if it wasn't, it would still be inefficient. The BZ4X, Toyota's EV, it's inefficient. So imagine if this was, say, a Tesla Model 3, a newer version with 4680 batteries or the new CATL Kirin battery, Kirin battery, whatever they call it. Imagine if it was one of those. Or what about the second generation of those batteries, right? Imagine if you put that small 18 kilowatt hour size battery pack in that vehicle, one of those vehicles, and then you drove it on one of these roads. It would be more than you would ever need, way more than you'd ever need, because you could probably reduce the amount of road to 10% where you actually have wireless charging. But Fast forward 10 years to say version 10 of these wireless chargers, version 10 of these battery packs, you're looking at much, much improved efficiency, much cheaper battery packs, much cheaper wireless charging. That's just what happens with technology. It's very possible that electric cars in the future will take advantage of this in the busiest places. Install this technology in the busiest cities in the world. And this is basically the solution for apartment dwellers. The vehicle only paused momentarily to switch drivers, said Electrion, never switching off its engine and never for dedicated charging. But of course, it's a bit of a misnomer to say never switching off the engine because the engine shouldn't have been working in the first place. Now, it actually wasn't. That's just for some reason what the press release said. Its 18 kilowatt hour battery was never depleted and was continually charged by an electric road. So imagine if the battery size was bigger, say a 60 kilowatt hour battery, meaning you know three and a half times the size and the car was more efficient. You could actually already get by with only 10% of the road having a wireless charger. So see, wireless charging is possibly a good solution in cities. By eliminating the necessity for large batteries, this technology not only reduces the cost of EV ownership and environmental impacts, but it also offers the unparalleled advantage of extended, if not unlimited range, said the company. And I agree with them. This is incredible. People said this wouldn't work. The naysayers said, no, 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 wireless charge is a joke. It'll never take off. I think it will. I mean, companies will improve the product. EVs will get better and more efficient. Combine those two, two things together. This is really very, very exciting. Electrion haven't responded to requests for comment about how fast the vehicle can travel while continuing to charge. So we don't know how fast it was going. A 100 hour drive covering 1,200 miles would average just 12 miles per hour. However, Oren Eza, Electrion CEO and co-founder told Inside that the car circled the track at around 30 miles per hour. So it's doing about what? About 50 kilometers per hour, which is slow, but I mean, it's not super slow. The company has created a 1,900 foot prototype road in its home country of Israel with projects in development right now in Sweden, in the real world. So they're actually building wireless roads in Sweden, in Italy, and in Germany as well. This is a sign of what's coming for EVs in the future. It will happen. Besides networks of fast chargers from Tesla and other companies being built out at very fast speeds all around the world. I mean, even General Motors and, and Ford say they're going to build 30 to 40,000 chargers each within the next five years. But in addition to that, Electrion plans to install its technology in a mile long stretch of road in Detroit this summer in a partnership with the Michigan Department of Transportation. A similar project is planned for Utah where the company has already successfully installed a 164 foot long test track. So what do you think about this? I'm actually really excited about this. When I first heard about wireless roads a couple of years ago, I thought, nah, that wouldn't work. But when you start to realize 
you don't need to have an entire road covered. I mean, if you've got a decent sized battery pack in your car and you drive away from home with say 100% range, let's say you're doing a road trip, this might charge your battery enough for you to just keep on going. Even if you only cover the roads in say 5%, that's not all that much. But it seems as though this is actually quite an affordable technology. And I'll have a new video coming on the price versus the cost versus the cost of fast charges pretty soon. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you, if you like this idea, because I think it's amazing. And on that note, I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.